Uh, hello beautiful students, I uh, hope all are fine and doing well. Welcome to business training. If you want to learn the best of business, you are on the right spot. So let's start what we are having today. So guys, the topic which we are talking about is one, how to make a great CV to get a job to get a job. So we are going to talk about the CV. What is CV? Like how we should design a CV to get a good job. Okay, so let's get started. So very simple guys, what is CV? What is CV? CV full form is curriculum vitae. The full form of CV is curriculum vitae. So it is an application to ask for a job. It's what? It's an application to ask or to want for a job. So mostly it is one or two pages. Mostly it is one or two pages. Do not make it too much long. And simple, keep it simple. Do not use too much high advanced English or something. Okay, simple, make it one or two pages and use very, keep it very simple. Keep it very simple. So simple guys, it's an application to ask for a job, make it simple, and mostly it is for one or two pages. Clear? Good. So now let's move for the next. So the next is guys, how we should design a CV. So parts of CV, it means a CV is made up of how many parts? Okay guys, a CV is made up of five parts. Personal information and contact, objective of the city, uh, CV, education, experience and skills. And this is some extra lines. This is optional if we use, okay? It's not mandatory, but mostly CV has five parts. So this is your CV. So first in here, it's your personal information. Personal information. Here is all your personal information. Your address, your contact number. In here, it's your objective. You're writing objective. In here, you're writing the education. In here, you're writing the experience. And in here, you're writing your skills. Your skills. So simple guys, a CV is made up of how many parts? Five parts, personal, objective, education, experience, and skills. Good. So now let's move to the next part. So the next part is guys, is like uh, personal information and contact. The first part is personal information. In the personal uh, information contact, we are writing our full name, address, phone number, job title. Photo is optional. You want to post, put your photos or not. So this is our photo. Yeah, optionally. This is optional. You can put or not. Then write your name. Write your name. Suppose Sohrab. Sohrab Safa. Good. Then write your address. One, two, one, five. India anything okay then write your phone number suppose your phone number is nine seven eleven five three like this clear now your job title like uh, what's your job what's your occupation so network engineer network engineer. so this is guys what it is your personal information and contact that's about the name address phone number job titles photo is optional you want to put your photo you do not want to put your photo that is okay that's okay clear any doubt good let's move to the next step so guys the next step is what the next step is about the objective so we should write the objective objective means what do you want from the company what do you want? And mostly objective lines are one up to four lines. It can be one line, two lines, three lines, four lines. So now guys, in here, you already written your contact and information. Now, in the first line, you're writing your objective. 
your objectives. Suppose these are examples of objectives. Suppose you are writing that I am looking for employment with a company where I can grow professionally and personally. It's okay. You can write this one in here under objective. So what you are writing? Objective. Then you are bringing this line and written here. Enough. Or you can write this line, this line, any lines which you want. But do not more than four, four lines. So it can be one line. Mostly, it, guys, it is two lines. Mostly, it is two lines. Okay. These are examples. You can pick any one. Don't put all of them. Okay. This you can pick, suppose, two, four, five, six, any one you can pick. Clear? So these are called objective objectives so first what we did uh we we suppose the first one we contact is over after contact we are writing the objective objective you can put any line and written here clear fine so uh, now let's move to the next so guys uh the third points the third point is what the third point is about your education education so here is what your uh, contact you have written the object uh, objective now in the uh, next point you're going to write about your education about your education so guys in education you have to education you have to write the year and your education suppose put it in a table suppose uh, 2010 graduated from Milan high school very simple clean and understandable 2014 graduated from computer science very simple 2018 completed short course in digital marketing so guys very simple first put the year after year then what did you study what what did you study about your education so this is how you guys are entering your education and it's better guys put it in the table Look, it is very neat and clean that if someone look, they will understand very simple. Okay, good. So this is your education part. Now, let's move to the next. Uh, the next is, guys, is about your experience. Is about your experience and how you guys are going to write your experience. So now uh, this is done. Objective is done. Uh, education is done now it's time for your experience okay so if you do not have experience you can like skip this part okay if you are fresher skip this part so experience in experience write the year you are worked as what work as which company so simple guys 2012 year i work as a what worked as where which company in Naxos? Which company in Naxos? So 2012, I work as a network engineer in Naxos company. Then 2015, I worked as a team player where in Toto company. In 2022, I work as an IT manager in Luba company. Simple guys, you have to put the year first in a column. Then you have to work. You work as a what? like as a network engineer, you work as a manager, you work as a what? Now tell me the name of the company, which company you have worked. So this is how you guys are, we can say, entering your experience. Look, it's very neat and clean, okay? Keep it very simple that once, if an HR want to review your, uh, we can say, resume, they will understand, okay? Good, so now let's move to the next part, guys. Uh, the next part is, guys, about your skills. Skills means write what you are good into. What do you know? What do you know? So now, guys, we did everything. So now, in here, in the last, you are, you are going to write about your skills. Skills. So skills, suppose I'm writing, I can speak five languages. French, English, Arabic, Persian, Hindi. I'm good in digital marketing. My computer skills are in Word, it's Word, Word, Excel, Access. I'm also good in web designing. So these are my skills. These are my skills. Keep it very simple, neat, and clean. Good. Then, then guys, uh, so, 
suppose uh, I just want to say that. Okay, so let me uh, write something as CV. So first what you have to do, you can draw in the word or we can say in uh, PowerPoint, anything. Then what do you have to do? Put your picture here. In the picture, put your name. Name, sorry. Uh, phone. Uh, phone, suppose uh, 9711, like this. Email. Sohrab, Safa, gmail.com, like this. And your address. Clear? Good. Then write your objective. Write here objective. Put in here. Then write your objective. I love to work in this company. In this company as anything you can write. Then after this, what you have to do? Well, after this, you have to write your education. Education. So draw a table. Put the year, suppose 2010, uh, I graduated from school, 2012, I do this one. Good. Then after this, write your words, experience. Same, make a table like this. Then uh, write uh, your experience. Uh, suppose uh, 2015, I work as a network engineer. We are in Toto Company. In Toto Company. 2017, I work in this company. This is that. Then in here, write your skills. Write your skills. Keep it very simple. Keep it very simple. Okay. So, so again, guys, uh, there are a lot of websites which they are going to design for you CV like this, but they put a lot of like colors, like different stuff. No, guys, simplicity. When try to keep it very simple because. When someone wants to see your CV, check your CV, if it is simple in plain English, you're going to win. Because I have been like working as an HR part in many stuff. Any CV that mostly people that we want to hire, if we say, oh, it's very simple, okay, keep that one. So try to keep the CV very simple, very simple. Avoid those fancy drawing, all those stuff. Okay, good. Then guys, uh, so now write your comments uh, about this video. What did you like about this and write here, okay? So guys, thank you so much and don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon and share with your friends, okay? So inshallah, we will see you for the upcoming classes.